Hi guys, um, welcome to Tales of Serena. Um, yes, uh, we're on, we've just started level 6, um, let's fight and see how hard the enemies are. No, we haven't just started, I did a video just of me failing, I remember. Yeah, sorry it's been a while, um, I've been doing other stuff and fulfilling, um, requests for videos and I just haven't got around to doing this. Um, but yeah, I'm doing it now. Um, this is fairly easy considering that the boss we were just fighting was fairly hard. Um, mine's gone a bit rusty on what, what's happened and what hasn't. Um, so, and I just died, as is expected really, and it's just blacked out, come on, oh yeah, um, so all of these cost, cost quite a lot, a bit slow, um, yeah so let's just fight again, what I like doing is just instantly stunning them and then tormenting them as soon as I can and they're making I just like stunning them right at the beginning just so, so that I get a few damage straight in there the one thing I don't like about the fight sonic is there's hardly any damaging spells there's one two three four and then the rest are just buffs and stuff but and all these are uh, all of these apart from magic mirror are uh, good uh, damage with on the skeletal Fisonic. Um, humans don't seem to be as good as skeletals. Um, come on. Pff, that was close. Yes! With two health left, defeated my first enemy. And I can't quite afford anything yet. Um, I haven't got any artifacts to pawn, so let's just do it again. Ooh, as you make your way across Talesworth, Rex suddenly appears a mere two steps away from you. Do you always just appear like that? You ask. Rook shrugs. It's good practice. So, have you found use for the runes you found? No. Take a trip to the dark with me. I'll show you a secret. Sure, let's go. Rook leads you into an unfamiliar area. Your hand instinctively goes to your weapon. The still air becomes increasingly silent for three short blocks until the broken cobblestones dump into a high-walled cul-de-sac. Rook spins on you, an unseen light source glinting off his hooded eyes. I stay and face Rook. Rook reaches into his collect and produces a small wooden token about the size of the palm of your palm. The surface appears to be engraved with the image of Brahman, god of trade. Behind us lies the package to the black market. There you can spend your runes to upgrade the skills you have learned. However, you need this to pass to get in. It's yours for only three hundred gold. I just hope this appears in my um quest so then I can save up three hundred. Okay. Oh, yep. So I just go to the tavern when I've got 300, and then I can go to the black market. Yeah, the black market. Ooh, yeah. I have a feeling it's going to be deadly, that it's going to help me a lot. Um, I haven't played um, Tilted since the last time I recorded, so it's been a long time since I recorded. It's been a long time since I recorded, so it's a long time since I played this. Um, I bet a lot of you are thinking that he's finally that he's given up on it, but once I've started the series, I'm quite loyal to it. Unless people, unless like everyone hates it and just gets loads of dislikes, but I'm so far through it, I'm not even going to give it up, even if that happens. And I'm probably not going to win this one. Um, but anyway. I don't think I'm going to win this. Nope, I lost. 
Alright, let's fight again. I need to get 300. I need to. It's my job. I need to get 300. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. The sound effects are just great on this. Um, next episode, I will um, unplug my earphones so that you can actually hear the sound, hopefully. Um, but if not, oh well. Um, come on. Come on. It's a bit laggy. I'm doing alright. I'm doing alright, I'm doing alright. Come on, I'm nearly winning, I'm winning. Yes, I won! And I've got 300! I've got 300. So, should I buy something here, or should I go, or should I go into the dark? I'll go into the dark. We've seen all this before. I want it. You trade rook 300 gold for the wooden pass. Rook steps towards the back wall of the Gundis cul-de-sac and pushes open a door previously unseen. The sounds of commerce immediately fill the air. The black market is now available on the main map. Okay, so I'm going to go to the main map. Rook saunters over. He seems to be very comfortable among the other shady patient patrons of the black market. Here you'll find skill upgrades for sale, but you can only pay with those rare runes you've been finding from questing. Once you upgrade a, stil, a skill, it stays upgraded even if you train a better version of it in the training grounds. Got it. Oh, one more thing. You probably won't be able to upgrade everything, so choose wisely. Rook wanders off, nodding silently with a crooked smile at the sir, at some of the patrons he knows. Farewell. So I've got one. I can upgrade my concentration and regenerate an extra bit. Mana gnome. <laughs> Own your own gnome. This little scamp will assist you with mana shield, allowing it to stay to last twenty percent longer. Hmm. I think I'll do concentration. I get a secret mantra. Oh, oh mana gnome sounds good there. I'm gonna use my mana gnome. <laughs> I would not want that. Inner demons. That sounds cool. Your torment spell will now tap tap into your enemy's torturous inner demons, causing ten percent more damage. Nice. Some of these just sound awesome. Orb of head freezing. I wouldn't want that to happen. Brain cell nanobots. Oh, those would just crawl into your ears and would just make you. Oh, that that would be horrible. Having just small robotic bugs crawling through your ears and eating your brain. Oh, that would be horrible. Yeah. I know what the name of this episode is going to be. Um, yeah, Brain Tell Nanobots, everybody. Um, yeah, let's have one more fight. Upgraded my mana shield so it lasts twenty percent longer with my mana gnome just wandering around like a mad person. Um yeah. I don't see the point in blinding to be perfectly honest, because at this point you've pretty much memorized where all these spell spell things are. But yeah, gassy mission. Yep, yeah, remember that. Yeah, that was great. Oh, that was from that must have been from last episode. Yeah. Crikey, it has been a long time, hasn't it? Come on. And I've died. So, yeah. Ending on that bombshell. Um, thanks guys for watching, and I will see you next time.